The Lucas County Sheriff's Department is growing. Tonight, 15 new corrections officers were sworn in. Emma Henderson is live tonight with details on what this growth means for the department. Christy, beginning tomorrow, these corrections officers will be working in the Lucas County Jail. But Sheriff Tharp says right now they're understaffed and need about 80 more to be fully staffed. Uh, some of the finest from the city of Toledo to join the Lucas County Sheriff's Office. Within our class, we also have one deputy sheriff. Lindsay Earhart joins 14 others as the newest correction officers in Lucas County. It's a job she's excited to begin after weeks of classwork and de-escalation training. Learning how the community works because people in jail are a part of our community. So I'm going to see how that works, see how they think, think see how they act, and I feel like it'll help me in the future with law law enforcement. Sheriff Tharp says being a corrections officer opens many doors for people interested in law enforcement, whether they want to remain in corrections or eventually go through training to become a sheriff's deputy, something Earhart wants to do. Uh, the road patrol to uh, the corrections division to uh, the DART unit. For now, she's excited to see where the corrections field takes her and hopes other people are encouraged to do the same. They do it. Even if they're just thinking of becoming a police officer, Corrections is a great place to start. There are so many opportunities just within the sheriff's office for them to do. And Sheriff Tharp is hopeful this class will help provide some relief for current corrections officers that are having to put in overtime due to being understaffed. It adds to their uh, spirit. It adds to uh, them not being tired. Uh, it uh, is healthier for them not to work so many hours. Earhart says anyone who's interested should give it a try. The women can do this any stigmas or stereotypes we can just knock down. This is not a job just for men. If you would like to apply to be the part of the next class of corrections officers, please visit Lucas County Sheriff's Department website. Reporting in studio, Emma Henderson for WTOL 11 on Fox 36.